introduce a little bit Audio Bars to the world and uh, let's try to understand what it does. Audio Bars started out as a search and indexing engine for audio content. So we're capable of taking all of that audio content and put it in bulk of different segments and categories. So by being able to actually cut everything into stories, our capability is actually to index all of that content. And where our AI actually gets into the picture is understanding what are the topics that you really like, and then promoting those topics and allowing you to actually personalize your experience when listening to all of that content based on your own behavior. What I'm thinking is why this is all of this is possible today and why, if you like, companies like Google or Microsoft haven't done this on their own? I think why it's possible today is also thanks to the booming of podcasts. So audio returned to our lives. So with this in mind, I think that people right again understand how important content through audio could be, and that allows also audio burst to prosper right now. In terms of why the big ones ha haven't done that yet, so I think it will be pretty naive to think they're not trying to do that or they're not working on doing it. I think that audio burst does has the advantage of starting really early with understanding exactly what's the problem with, with segmenting and indexing audio which the big ones will probably follow up with in, in the next few years. Why do you think there's been this shift and, and how do you think it's sustainable over time? When we're talking about audio bursts and you know, where's the best experience to have audio bursts, we're always talking about the on the go experience. So we're thinking about who are the people who will use audio bursts. And we're thinking about people in the car, we're thinking about people that you know are running, people that are at the moment screenless, so they don't have screens in front of them. But we were proved wrong. So I don't know if you've seen, but the latest, one of the latest uh, researches about podcasts actually says that people listen to podcasts so that most people listen to podcasts within their own living room. And I think this is again, you know, where we're going to have our own success. A another thing is, I think also when we look at what we call millennials and even the, you know, the generations after and they're experiencing with listening, I think reading is getting less and less traction today by the by the new generation. Video is definitely very popular and then audio is pretty much uh, um, after that, that trend. And with all the uh, voice enabled devices that we are, I mean, I have, uh, looking at my living room, I have three of those in my living room, you know? I think that this is a sense, the listening, it, this is a sense that we haven't been using for a long time and it's kind of coming back to our, um, to our own usage.